Hey everybody, welcome back to our Sunface Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here watching some Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Where last time our happy family had to break up with their mentor as she had nothing left to teach our young little character. Uh, and just left. What's his name, Griff? Uh, it's they... not Akira, that's a different show. Literally the character you're represented in in the art. What is the character's name? You know, remembering names? I, I remember your name, right? Um, John. Yeah, totally. Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name, too. Whenever I go yeah. out, the people always shout, there goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. No, 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 no. Ah, you really went into that one. Good job. Uh, well, primarily what we were focusing on was three things. Our main character learning magic, where at the end he eventually summons a giant storm, proving that he's basically learned everything his master has. I think they they didn't explain why he can go ahead and cast spells without an incantation yet. Uh, they, they're still leaving that a mystery. Uh, but it is supposedly an impressive thing that he's doing. We got some of the backstory for our character, where he was essentially uh, very brutally bullied into becoming an absolute shut-in, who cannot deal with the very idea of other people even looking at him. And it is only through the relationship with his mentor that he is able to go outside once again after... How old would you say he is right now? Five? Seven? Oh, God, I swear they probably... I've told us... No, like... yes, they had a birthday party about it. He is five years old. He took him five years before he could even bear the idea of going outside to interact with people who have no idea who he is. Are you sure he's not ten? Uh, they mentioned they do a birthday every five. Right. Doesn't imply that he hasn't had a birthday before. Also, he would only know that <laughs> if he got to the fifth birthday. So, he might be ten they years say it old. Out loud. No, I'm they saying say it's a local tradition. Right. No, I'm saying that he would only find that out on his fifth birthday. Right. Mm -hmm. So. So maybe he's ten. In which case, it only makes it worse. Only makes what worse? Uh. The amount of time it takes for him to get over his trauma to actually go outside with the help of his mentor. Literally ten years inside, never I mean, interacting with anyone else. Some of us wouldn't consider that view too bad. <laughs> well, speaking to the neat shutout crowd here. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, how's you, how you doing? I don't know what you just said. Oh, well, it sounded okay. to me like you said neat shutout crowd. Like, what? Uh, the neat shut-in crowd. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, there was that, and I think was there I think you mean to say Hikikomori, because a neat is just somebody who's unemployed. Maybe. Uh, an untrained, skills, an untrained, unemployed person. A Hikikomori <laughs> is a, uh, shut-in. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we also get told that there is, in fact, a magical academy across the mountains, which accepts anyone, quote-unquote. Uh, and that seems like the idea of the direction where we're going to be taking this as soon as he, like, ages up. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure the girl's uh, village was on the other side of the mountains. Um, I think she said her village actually was burned down or something, or she had to leave it. Well, no, she left it. I don't know that she had to leave it, but she also indicated it was on the other side of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Right, which is what I'm saying. Are you conflating the academy with a village? Uh, hard to say. Uh, we'll find out once we get there, I think. So, Theta, is there anything else you'd remember that you'd like to go ahead and add on top of all this? I don't think we have, like, any expectations for this other than maybe they go to Magic Academy, right? Well, I don't know. He's still five and or ten. So, yeah. <laughs> we don't know what the age uh, of uh, Academy entry is. Because we, right, don't, right. Haven't, we haven't seen anything outside of the... Are we on a farmstead? It's hard to tell because we just came off of Vinland Saga. So, it's... right, we're we're in a farm town, and he's uh the son of the people who are protecting it and or managing it. Right. So we haven't um, delved into any world building just yet. So it's kind of hard to the kind of hard to bit with the demons and stuff. Well, I mean, that's not even really world building. That's just a conversation between two characters. I mean, we literally haven't gone out. <laughs> and talked about, or or rather, we haven't yeah. seen the world. We saw yeah, a field, I, 
and the house. Yeah, I think that's the critical thing. We got to go out and see the world with the character who is now actually willing to go outside. I mean, more so, we've seen, like, what, two other kids, mm -hmm. and we were too afraid to talk to them. So, <laughs> we we have no, you know, we have no insight into how the world works. Do uh, rich kids get sent off to schools? Do Is this a, like, a uh, real society that has, like, an age that you're supposed to go to these things? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Dad is already teaching the kid how to sword fight at either you say the age of five i think you don't teach a five-year-old to sword fight it has to be 10 years old right uh you know what i hope they clarify if you know how old he actually is in the comments go ahead and post that down there i think it has to be a 10 year old because he would need the <laughs> the physical strength because you don't want to be like that five-year-old kid the uh, bodybuilder picture that you you constantly see toddler he, with jacked up muscles he couldn't even hold a sword i think he might actually be five i think he's been homebound his entire life because he's afraid of going outside and might just be weak hmm. all right then so i think uh that covers everything right theta except for you saying his name Yep, in which case, let's go ahead and get to it. But before we do, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check us out over on the Patreon. Just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. Click that Discord link below, drop by, tell Griffin his own character's name. Kanojiwa So, you know, that's a little bit of anachronism he's going to have to deal with here. He's, like, doing, like, this very Japanese praying gesture in a completely different world. I mean, they are cl they clearly have gods, so it doesn't probably doesn't matter. Well, sure, but, like, the manner that he does it is going to be very, uh, discreetly different. <laughs><笑>そういう子供らしくないところが逆に心配なんだがな。長男は<笑><笑> No, no, you're only feeding his bad side. <laughs> if they... If the mom is standing on the right-hand side, why are they so far left aligned? Yeah, huh. What's, what's with the cinematography here? That she was right there the whole time. I mean, it still obeys the rule of thirds, I guess. Well, it's not even rule of thirds, it was, it was half. They took up half the screen and a cloud took up the other half. Uh, well, like, as far as I understand the rule of thirds to be, is that you basically just have the three positions of the screen that you care about, and you want to basically put them into those sectors. And obviously, if it's something is center, you care about Was that an most. intro? No, this is the intro, okay. This, this is the intro, he's just walking around town saying <laughs> the hello. The sound cut out like we were just now having a conversation with these two. So I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Have we had an intro before? I, yeah, uh, hmm, I don't know. I, hey, I don't even remember the character's name. <laughs> you know there's the last name yet? They literally said it on screen already. And I already forgot about it. 
Hey everyone, welcome to Sophie's Reaction. I don't remember not eating and who's this guy? I went the wrong direction, by the way. Where is he? I don't even know. I was just going to take a huge bite out of it. Now, this is a pretty landscape. This is nice. Space Alien rips him into another dimension. Whole port. That would be a twist and a half. You can summon lightning and murder them. I don't think you got anything to fear anymore. It's not mud. That probably hurt more than the rock. いや、<笑><笑><笑> ショタコンのお姉さんがいたら一発でジュンってなるだろう。え、え。あまり人の言うことに逆らわない子らしい。ショタコンのお兄さんがいたら一発でズガンってなる。ああ。ラウアーズ<笑><笑><笑><笑><
栄章を覚えればできるようになるよ多分ね栄章興味あるの You know, I also sort of feel like maybe we turn around and the whole village burns down or something. Well, I mean, it feels like we're teaching a demon that we were taught to avoid magic. It's because it's dark, kid. I assure you, I did not punch him. <laughs> Tell me what you're talking about. What are you talking about? That's right. Ah, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Oh, I'm not liking myself. Please don't be afraid. I don't want to be afraid of you. Why? Why don't you say anything? 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 Yeah, that was coming. Father.僕は今まで。できる限り良い子でいるようにしてきました。それは関係ないだろう。いいえ、あります。僕は父様に信頼してもらえるよう頑張ってきたんです。父様は僕のそんな言い訳は一切聞かず、怒鳴りつけ手を
ルディが使ってたあったかいお水が出るやつがいいあれかあれはこうやって火と水を応用するんだ Two things at once. どうしてルディは口で言わないのんムエーションのことシルフには難しいと思うけどそれ教えてああうんそうだなあっよし、oh, did for Roxy. いつも栄翔中に感じる魔力が指先に集まっていく感じわかるかうんあれを栄翔なしで魔術を思い浮かべて手の先から絞り出すそんな感じでやってみろよ最初は簡単なのからねうん if the word, saying the words out loud aren't important what if you just imagine saying them in your head that's kind of how we started actually right シールのは難しいロクシーでもできなかったやはり無栄翔は特別なものなのだろうてか特別なものであってくれせっかく異世界に転生したんだ俺にだって何か都合のいいスキルの一つや二つをできたできたよルディ<笑>できたできたシルフ<笑> So it might actually be special now Or it is, and this is just literally the one person who can also do it. The, the pure coincidence, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can believe that too. Ah, oh, but they won't explain it until like, we get to the Magic Academy. <laughs> he had reincarnated into another world and realized uh, it's time to question your sexuality a little bit. Didn't need to know that, but okay. Ah, <laughs>、uh, just, just psychic damage is what this show does. Well, it like layers in the,、uh, the real emotional shit with the Ichi. Hmm. I'm sorry, did they put the wet towels on top of the book? No, the fresh clothes on top of the book. Okay, okay. Don't know why we <laughs> animated that. Damage. <laughs> And of course, you've already hit into this from the beginning. Yeah, it keeps going on and on about man, what a handsome guy, what a gorgeous guy. And there you go. Assault. Yep. So, my son, what in the menu is done? So, I can mean that it's a pure and a short assault to the Nakata. Mutual. マガマガシーモンヨーノウカブダークブレードでもなかったそこにあったものはいやなかったのだないはずのものがあったのだ生前モニター越しにいや、yeah, I don't think you're talking your way out of this one ブラックラストをホワイティングに rationalizing how much he's actually fucked up a little bit あった彼は彼女だったのだ<笑>どうしてあんなことをしたんだ Yeah, and he's already. I went too far last time to handle this. My son just possibly sexually assaulted a little girl. Main character actually learns the value of consent. 
Lessons you never thought an Ichi show would have. Oh, of course, it didn't get a full name, that's why. It's been six months. Oh, that age-old apology, I didn't know you were a girl. しかし、頭のいい息子のことだ。今回の失敗もうまいことを利用するんだろう。頼もしくも末を恐ろしいよ、お前は。No, that's that's the right emotion. Hopeful and worried. And he said the wrong words. They said it's not gonna work well. <laughs> Unfortunately, he does have like three extra feet of reach on you. Yeah. お願いします。うん、どうしよっかな。靴でも舐めましょうか。お前な。ほほ、でもどうやって？お前の悩みをシルフィエットの前であからさまな態度に表すんだ。今あなたに避けられて悩んでますってな感じでな。すると、どうなると思う？I think we're heading further into tragedy. うまくいけば向こうから寄ってくる。それでダメだったらどうします？その時はまた聞け。次の手を教えてやる。yeah, let me know how this works first, and then... <laughs> well, I'm showing weakness. I'm literally doing what you said. Rudy, this uh, you went with the creepiest choices. ごめんね。でも僕、ルディのこと嫌いになったわけじゃないよ。シルフィ。だから普通にしてて。同年代の幼く可愛らしい女の子。女性。But not really my own age. To be fair, his emotional understanding of other people is still at about five years old sometimes. Yeah, fucked up. Oh, that still remains a good show. I mean, I mean, called it from like oh, a yeah. mile away, but at the same time, I still knew what Rudius was gonna do. <laughs> Rudius, that's what it is. See, I knew it was Rudius Gray Rat all along. That I was just playing you for a fuel, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, t telegraphing what the main plot is is perfectly fine. I I, I like to poke fun at like um things that. Uh, show off their tropes like that, but no, they made everything here like fun. I think it's why I I enjoy watching the show so far. There's plenty of like little emotional character drama going on that actually makes it all very worth it.
Yeah, it's more about the interaction between the characters than it is knowing what's going to happen. I mm-hmm. might be able to call out, ah, oh, that's a girl. Clearly we're going to have a misunderstanding here. And still have no idea what Dad's going to say <laughs> during every mm-hmm. scene. Yeah, and then of course we have the main character actually learning to like value actually having a personal friendship with people before like doing his weird sexual thing, obviously. <laughs> Um, but it's interesting seeing Rudy, like, change from, like, I was bullied so severely, I was traumatized for the next 15 years of my existence, to, uh, uh, to person who will immediately... We're gonna meet up next time. Yeah, I guess I keep hoping for, like, a clue to what next episode's gonna be, and the last two have just been... Mm -hmm. Okay, a friend. Now, this one's more confusing because surely we're going to have an emergency family meeting about what? Yeah, about something dramatic, right? Uh, but I guess, like, continuing my statement, Ru- Rudy has, like, changed from, like, this person who, um, who was bullied so severely that he wouldn't leave the house to someone who is apparently fighting off at least very basic five-year-old bullies, and then taking a hit, standing back up, and being completely composed about it. Well, I mean, he's got, like, magic that no other kid his age has. Mm -hmm. He's apparently throwing water balls with a forceful fist, and his dad hit him with dad energy. Like, a parent hitting a child. Not like he didn't. He didn't take a hit from Paul Gray Rat full swing. Yeah, we didn't see like blood and teeth line or anything. <laughs> well, we didn't even see bruising. He didn't even have bruising on his face, so he didn't get hit. He didn't get even hit the same degree that he hit the other kid, because the other kid had bruises, uh, uh, the old welt and everything. Yeah. Yeah. His uh, dad he... hit him, and he got back up. Not even mm-hmm. like the red of a blush. He was just fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, such things can, like, still trigger traumatic memories to people, though. He- he's at least developing now as a person who is more capable of handling himself, which is more than we had, like, the first couple of episodes where uh, we didn't know what, like, he would end up doing in those situations, I think. Uh, so, yeah, we're seeing the character, like, develop in real time here at the rate of, like, six months an episode. Real time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be here for the next 10 years, everyone, watching every single day he grows up. <laughs> well, no, that's what I was being facetious. He's clearly not doing it in real time, yeah, considering yeah. he started the first episode as one, a 35-year-old man, and then a baby. And now he's either 5 or 10 years old. I still can't get over that Assassin's Creed 2 opening. Uh but uh, I think that's like the the stuff that's on my mind, Theta. Do you have anything that you want to add to all of this? Anything else to finish off with? Do you remember if she was in the outro? Uh oh my gosh, I don't actually remember it. I blinked and I missed it. I didn't think about looking until we saw the red haired girl, which mm-hmm. I don't think is her, but could be. Maybe she changes her hair color. You know that would actually make perfect sense. Grows their hair out long, because she's got long hair. Well, the only thing I can see is the same is I think both of them had elf ears and red eyes, but those are two factors that anybody in this world could have, so... Yeah. Uh, it it makes sense as, like, a logical progression of, like, well, everyone's gonna think you're, like, the weird demon that eats people, maybe we should change something here. Uh, that, that's a perfectly rational choice, so I expect them to make it, right? But we don't know. We weren't paying attention. She could be there too. There'd just be we two different just, girls. Yeah, we could just have the red-haired girl, and uh, we're already building the harem at five years old. All right. So I think that'll probably cover it for today. Then this has been Stone Face Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin. That's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?